Hello everyone and welcome back to All the Mod 6. In the last episode, we set up these guys, which they might just look like smaller reactors, but have a look back here. They are very easily expandable. I could I could make a row of them. I could probably, without too much effort, even stack them, since like there's only one cable that needs to run flat. The rest sort of like go out and do their own thing. So it's it's obviously doable. I'm probably Listen, I imagine we could use entangled blocks for these bottom ones as well, but I think it's just easier to just do one cable that does it all. So these guys are all running at the moment. Um, hopefully my connection improves a bit. I'm, I'm having a bit of a laggy time, but listen, a video has to happen. Um, as you can see, we're making more than enough fuel, which means temporarily we can probably just paste a few more of these. That's that's not really an issue. We, we can do that. The thing is, I kind of do want the ability to um, get more fuel because... I mean, look at this. This is a mess. It's functional. It's doing what it needs to do, but it's a mess. If we needed more fuel for whatever reason, we we simply can't do it, which, eh, it's a downside. Um, so, 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 what do we do? <laughs> well, I guess, I guess for starters, we pace things until we're losing fuel, right? To make it actually worth doing. Um, so, let me go ahead and grab our copy-paste gadget. Copy and paste. Here we go. He's still set to be the right mode. Um, which chunks do we have here? Do we have this chunk, uh, force loaded as well? Let's see. Um, we don't. I'll tell you what. Should I give stacking them a go? I, I'm gonna be honest, I feel like I should. Just to, I, I guess, experiment and see how good it is. Now, um, how does this work? Ah, oh, it works exactly like that. So, that's where it's gonna go. But I kind of want to give it a space in between. Because, like, I obviously, I don't want them to accidentally, like, connect to each other, which I don't think they'd do, but, you know, it's better safe than sorry. So, here we go. Let's go ahead and right-click there. Oh, we don't have anything on us. Which reminds me, this guy's now empty. I'm going to scram him, and I'm going to pick him all up, because we no longer want him to be doing what he's doing. Uh, we have we have a different setup now. Oh, I should probably turn my magnet on. <laughs> that would most definitely help. Um, so, I'm just going to run through here. Luckily, destroying the things are a lot easier than building them. Um, with Vein Miner or Ulti Miner. And on top of that, you get some nice experience points that we definitely need. Um, I could also try this. Is this faster? Mm, I think when I'm flying, it's not that faster. Um, yeah, someone said there was an achievement. And I think I've got the achievement. Uh, achievement, sorry. The um, enchantment to make it so that when you're flying, you don't lose any mining uh, speed. But... Oh. Oh god, yeah, you know what, we should, probably, <laughs> we should probably be emptying a lot of this. Even though we're going to be using a lot of it, we should probably be emptying a lot of it. Okay, I mean, just like that, that, that's at least gone, which means now we do have enough stuff to, you know, paste one of these bad boys down. Um, huh. Oh, I guess somehow I managed to get everything except for the fission casings in my inventory. Beautiful. Quite, quite phenomenal as well, isn't it? Um, that should be pretty good for a little bit. So let's try this again. Bam. There we go, that, that looks a little bit more like a, a um, reactor. We can also check here what we need. So this is saying we need like more cables and stuff. Um, we're going to place that stuff manually anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. This guy's saying the same thing, so we can paste one of those. Do we still have stuff? We, we still have stuff, apparently. So, let me, let me build one more of these. So we're going to need some glass and we're going to need some uh, casings. So we'll do that. We'll search reactor and we'll get some of those. And we'll do that. Okay. So, oh, it looks like we still, <laughs> we were so close. We were so close. Give me a second. Eh, eh. Boom, 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 boom. And that should build. Okay. So, at the bottom, what we had here generating is 50 mil buckets per, per each. This guy was doing, um, what do you call it? He was doing 500. So, 50 here means we've got 50, we've got 100, we've got 200, we've got 250. So, now, with these ones, we will be generating exactly what this one machine was doing. And you might think, well, that's pretty dumb, but... As you can see, we can we can keep going up. You know what I mean? Like we, we have expandability, which is which is beautiful. Um, so let's go ahead and clean things up. Obviously, connecting these should be extremely easy. I'll run it over once for you guys so that you sort of know what's happening here. Um, so what I'm going to need to grab a hold of are uh, entangled binders. I'm going to need my uh, cables guy. So let's go here and grab it. Uh, if it wants to work, cables. There we go. And I'll also need my entangled blocks. So there we go. And so basically what I do is... Oh, yeah, everything's, everything's looking good. I bind like um, this chemical tank, for example. I fly up here. I place down an entangled block on this uh, coolant output. Oh, if we had entangled blocks. But apparently, 
Apparently somehow I don't have any entangled blocks in my inventory. They should now be in my inventory. Oh, they should hopefully there we uh, to that. What to that? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> what happened to my entangled blocks? Hold on. What? Even the ones I just dropped, they just disappeared. Now they're in here again. Hmm. We might be lagging a little. <laughs> bear with me. Please do bear with me. Okay, here we go. Anyway, we place these here and then we simply bind them and now it's hooked up. Now steam is being output from this um, and we can do the same for all of these. So I can go through here, place each of these down and it's as simple as right clicking them. So this is all the stuff we set up in the last episode um, like that. Then we'll obviously do the same for these ones, oh, for these ones. But yeah, and so for this last one, we actually entangle this extracting pipe. We come up here and right click it on each of these and it actually goes ahead and connects to it and it extracts. So instead of running like a cable through and doing all that stuff, that's how that works. And then down here is where we actually do run a cable. I'm going to need to grab a hold of some universal cables. Hopefully 51's enough. It might not be, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. Um, and for starters, they run along like this. All right, so they run along like that. They're all input, so you don't have to configure them at all. And then I just need to bring it down to these pipes here. So what I might do is bring it up from here. In fact, what we could do is something a little bit like that, just to make it look a little bit neater. And then I'll bring this guy all the way up. Da, 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 da. Right to here and connect that. And now we should be good. We should see water filling up all of these. They should even have fissile fuel going into all of them. We're going to have to open them up, go into stats and write 50 and click tick. One thing I do want to check, just real quick, is can we use a configuration card? Um, one of these guys from Mechanism. Can I shift right click on this guy and like bind it? Is that a thing I can do? It doesn't look like it's a thing I can do because it's not working, but hmm. I guess I'll have to go through manually and set all of their um, all of their burn rates to be 50. Um, so we'll go through here. I'll do it all. Now, one thing we will have to keep in mind is that because all of these are sharing the same like pipes, we do need to make sure that they, they're able to actually like export all of the you know stuff they're using because that could get a bit dangerous if they couldn't. Um, so we'll activate these. Now, once again, if they blow up, whilst it's annoying, it's really not the end of the world. Like it doesn't, <laughs> it, it, it obviously breaks them, but as you can see, we can just paste them down again. It's not, it's really not the, not a problem at all. Um, so we'll do this, 50, turn this guy on. And I mean, looking pretty good, looking pretty good. <laughs> Every so often, I guess I'll open these up to make sure there's not like, you know, a bunch of stuff left in. How are we looking for fuel? Oh, is it going down or no? Is this still rising? It's at 58. It's at 58. It's at 58. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we might be at a stalemate. Look at that. 58.166. This guy is, looks like he's dropping. This guy. I don't know. I guess we'll have to come back in the future and see, see how that goes. But anyway, what I wanted to do for this episode was redo our entire... Oh, God. It's so noisy. Um, Redo our entire production so that it's expandable. I want to... I don't want it to be all stuck together and messy. I want it to be like this thing here, this thing here, this thing here, and they all like meet in the middle sort of thing. So I might just try and like redo the entire setup, I guess. Um, Still not entirely sure how we're going to do it or what we're going to do, but I think I want to do that. And we might actually do it back around here in this area. Does that sound like a, not a bad idea? Maybe. Um, okay. So <laughs> what are we doing then? Well, what we're doing is we're trying to make fissile fuel. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. What is this? Reprocessed fissile fragment, plutonium pellet, polonium and water or plutonium and water, fluorite dust, spent nuclear waste. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. So you can apparently, you can send it back into being fuel. And one of these makes 2000 fissile fuel. Interesting. Do we, hold on. So one of these makes 2000. What does it cost to make one? A plutonium pellet, right? And you get four of them. So that's, that's what? 8,000, 8,000 fissile fuel for one plutonium pellet. Um, in order to make 8,000 fissile fuel, you need 1000 plutonium. In order to get 1,000 plutonium, it's a 10 to 1. So you need 10,000 nuclear waste. And the nuclear waste is a 1 to 1 for fissile fuel. So um, you do lose. But you don't lose by much, to be completely honest. Like, I guess if you were only after power, you'd do that. But obviously, we need to use our, pol our, our nuclear waste to make polonium um, and then antimatter. But that, but that is interesting. If you're only after power, 
I, I guess set up that because you'll save so much, uh, you know, fuel. Okay, so fissile fuel. We need isotopic centrifuges to make uranium hexafluoride. <laughs> In order to do this, we need a chemical infuser, I believe, to make uranium oxide. To make that, it is going to be yellow cake uranium in a chemical chemical oxidizer. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, although it might not sound it. Hydrofluoric acid is made in a chemical dissolution chamber with a fluorite block and sulfuric acid. And then sulfuric acid is made... Oh, God. Um, we might be... I'll, I'll see what we currently have set up. Like, do we have sulfuric acid coming from sulfur? Um, in one of these, we might just have like a sulfur thing making it. Hmm. I don't know where we have that set up though. That's my problem. Is it happening here? <laughs> hmm. Or is it happening over here? Hold on. Oh, this this system isn't even working. I don't even know what this system's for. Oh god. Okay. Um we might be able to just get the sulfuric acid from Well, I don't actually know. There was a way to do it with just this, like just putting sulfur in. I'm pretty sure I knew that much. Um but otherwise we need water vapor which is a rotary con condensator, which gets the water vapor from, uh, well, water. And sulfur trioxide, <laughs> which is a chemical infuser using um, sulfur dioxide, which is a chemical oxidizer. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Let's have a look around real quick. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What are you making? Nothing at the moment. What are you doing? Nothing. How are we getting the sulfur in there? Are we getting it from from this? Sul sulfuric acid. So we've got sulfuric acid in our system. Hold on. We need to track this down real quick. I need to look around my base, figure out exactly how we're getting a hold of sulfuric acid <laughs> because I don't know how. I imagine it's over here. I imagine it's this process here with chemical oxidizers. But currently, these guys aren't even running, even though they're clearly all like powered. So I don't actually know. Oh, another thing I just saw. Look at this. We actually have 16 antimatter pellets. And somehow I've disconnected them. So they're not actually being put into the system. What? How did that happen? Did this guy just pick up? Did you seriously? Why are you picking up these things? I want you to pick up what we have. Tag, yes. There we go. That, that might work. Um, Hold on. Hold on. Do we now have antimatter pellets? If I make you output out the front? We now, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, anyway, we still need to figure this out because I, I'm i still not entirely sure where our sulfuric acid is coming from. Um, okay. All right, so the sulfuric acid we actually need in the chemical dissolution chamber, okay? I have a hunch that what we've got set up is all of our sulfur to go directly into the chemical dissolution chamber. Is that the case? Let, let, let's have a look around. Chemical oxidizers, all this stuff. Chemical dissolution chambers, okay? They're full of sulfur. That's how we're doing it. We've got sulfur coming in directly into them. So there we go. We, we don't actually have to do the entire sulfuric acid chain, which is water vapor and sulfur trioxide. So it's a little bit easier on us now, okay? <laughs> okay. Um, so let's come back around here. Um, one thing I do want to do real quick is just like mark the corners here so that we know like where the corner of the chunk is that we're trying to like stay within. So there we go. Okay. Now, how do we want to do this? Um, first things first. I guess we'll start from the bottom. So chemical dissolution chambers. Let's search this. I believe we have these um, auto-craftable. Chemical uh, dissolution chamber. We have two of them apparently. Um, so I'll grab both of those. And chemical dissolution chamber. Let's get two more, I guess. <laughs> I, I guess. Um, and, and how do we want these? Well, for, for starters, we want to be able to automate all of them. So with one, what does it need? It is going to need sulfur and fluorite. So it only needs two sides to be inputs. So what we could do is I could have um, item cables like this. And then one's coming out the front, right? Like so. We could have um, energy at the back, which could be done with um, ender gates. So I can slap energy at the back. So now it has energy. Um, configure it so that front is an output. Left is an input and right is an input. Although I realize now that this shouldn't be, um, cause it's, it's actually outputting a gas obviously, or it's outputting a slurry. Is it a gas or a slurry? What's it outputting? I think it's a liquid. 
<laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, oh my god, why is this guy now picking up? I don't understand why this guy decides to just pick up everything. Do I really have to do filtered pickup and then like, I don't know, lock it? Press control to lock? I, I don't know. Um, anyhow, anyhow. This needs to be da, 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 gas pipes, I think. I think. Or maybe fluid. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but now what we can do is we can expand it like this, right? Vertically. And I can just get like extra ender gates, slap those guys on the back. That's pretty straightforward. Obviously, I need to bring over um, sulfur and um, fluorite. So what I'm thinking I do is up here where we have this connection, what if up here I create some ender chests? that bring all the stuff over. Or, you know what? I could even... Oops, sorry. I just moved the, the microphone. Um, I could even use chests and just entangle them. So, for example, um, a lot of this is probably going to be moved around, so I'd, I'm not too fast about it looking too hideous. Um, but what if we do a chest there, another chest here. I wanted you to not connect, but of course, you could, couldn't help yourself. Here we go. Open this, place this, place this. Okay. <laughs> so, so, we've got these set up, right? Nice and easy. Cables, bring this guy out. Um, we're going to need what? We're going to need exporters. I'm hoping I can get this done this episode. I should be able to. I'm probably, it might be a long episode, but hopefully it's not. We're going to connect these up. One of these is going to be sulfur. So we'll search sulfur. I'm going to chuck that in there. Does it need to be sulfur dust? <laughs> I guess it's too late to find out. It's sulfur dust, isn't it? Okay. Well, hey, I'll tell you what. I guess I'm going to have fun uh, emptying all this. Let's just... All right, let's try this again. This time it's going to be sulfur dust. So there we go. This guy should instantly pretty much fill with sulfur dust. He might have to order some, but as you can see, that's not really a problem. This guy is going to fill up with um, fluorite. So let's go there. Fluorite, how do you spell it? It's one of them. Um, and what does this guy need? He needs specifically... What does he need? Where's the... What is it? He requires... Hold on. We're getting there. Hold on. Um, he, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just fluorite. Yeah, fluorite. It could be a fluorite block. If it's a fluorite block, it makes nine, like it speeds it up a bit. So we could do that. Yeah, let's do fluorite blocks. Let's make it, we want these to be the best. So fluorite blocks are going to go in there. Once again, might have to add auto crafting for it, but that should be fine. It shouldn't be the end of the world. So I'll have to set that up. Um, in the meantime, let's go ahead and entangle this. Come over to here. Um, place, for example, one of these blocks here, assuming it's in build mode. Place this guy here. Connect him up and have this guy extract. So now we should have, well, I might have to do um, extras. Set it to um, the, the yellow side on the left. So we'll go here, set this guy to be yellow side. And now it should input. Yep, we've got sulfur going into the bottom. So that's filling up. Beautiful. And the top guy should fill up soon. What I might need to do is obviously grab some uh, pipe upgrades to make sure that this can... Uh, Handle it all. So now, yeah, now, now look, it's completely full. So these will fill up. Beautiful. Um, obviously, on the right side, we're going to have the fluorite blocks. So I'm going to go over here already and entangle it. I'll have to go add a crafting recipe for that as well, but that is pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and connect that. Make sure this guy's extracting and chuck in a speed upgrade. Okay. Let's go back and um, make sure that we have the recipe for that. Okay. So fluorite block. I want to paste this recipe in, create that. Nice, beautiful, and I think I actually have to chuck it in over here. Um, chuck that in. So there we go. Already, that should be burning through our fluorite. As you can see, beautiful it is. Now, the next thing is the fluorite ore itself. We clearly need to be processing this. So I think what I might do is search fluorite again. Um, let's get the recipe for this, which is... I'm going to say, oh, you can't smelt it. That's part of the issue. You can't smelt it. Okay. We can add it to the enrichment chamber, right? This recipe right here, create that. And I can add it over here and it'll just order it as it needs it, which might be constant, but it's better than it actually being constant. Oh, we already have it in there. Ah, oh. <laughs> interesting. Okay, interesting. By the way, um, so someone, someone mentioned that I say interesting, right? Interest instead of interesting. And, and I agreed for a second, but then I realized, what about the word interest? Do you call it interest? You know what I mean? Like, interesting. I interesting. Interest. Do you say, like, oh, I got interest on that line? <laughs> I don't think you do. I think you say interest. So, I I, I think I've got you there. I, I think I, I 
I'm right. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously, I'm right. So, is this guy flu riding? What's he doing? No, th those are crushes. Is this guy flu riding? He is. Okay, he's flu riding. Yeah. Yeah. We might have to look into upgrading this. Now, I know that we could do pulverizing, and we've obviously got like a super speedy pulverizer upgrade. I, however, don't necessarily think it is faster. This guy is doing six at a time. Well, would it do six at a time in a pulverizer? Let's have a look. It would. Okay. Assuming it has a catalyst, apparently. Um, okay. This is doing what? Nine at a time? Possibly even more? Let's, I think it's doing nine at a time. I, I, I'm curious now. I'm really curious. So we're going to go in here. I'm going to take this recipe out and I'm going to chuck it in the pulverizer one. And I want to go witness it firsthand and see exactly what we're dealing with here. So the pulverizer... Oh, well, it's not even doing anything yet. <laughs> Hold on. Let's have a, let's have a look, look, look in here. How's he doing? Is he... Okay, now it's getting pulverized. Is this faster? K keep in mind, he's doing six at a time. I think, it, honestly, I think it might be. I think it might be faster than the um the enrichment chamber. I think it actually is. Because that's doing definitely more than nine. Like, like, if I take this out, right, and we look at here, that's nine every, like, what? One, two... About every two seconds, right? In here, one... To, I think it's doing more. I think it's doing more. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Um, so anyway, anyway, that should now be that first step taken care of, right? Infinitely expandable. If we run out of sulfur, um, sulfuric acid, we've got we've got it here, right? These guys should be making it. Hydrofluoric acid, beautiful. This guy isn't even taking any. I don't understand why. Because he's not inputting, apparently. Apparently, we, how did we mess that up? I swear I went through and set them. But now, there we go. Now he's running. Um, he might need some speed upgrades and stuff, so I'll order those, uh, of course. Oh, we actually, we do have quite a bit. Oh, a cool thing. I shift right click these upgrades in, and it put them all in at once. How cool is that? I really like that. Um, another thing, by the way, because it's updated, this mod, look at the upgrades tab. It actually tells you specifically what it can do. So we can actually put in gas upgrades in these guys, and they'll be more efficient. I just put the wrong thing away, I think. Um, so we've got gas upgrades here. I can shift right click, and it puts a full stack in. How cool is that? And now they're more gas efficient. That is amazing. Um, okay. So, we now have the sulfur. The sulfur will be obviously coming out um, from the fronts with some uh, upgrade, some extracting like that. Okay. Where does the sulfur go? So, this first step, done. Next is the hydrofluoric acid goes into a chemical oxidizer, I believe. Does it? Or is this just part of the recipe here? Hold on. I think it's just part of this. Because I think it's um, hydrofluoric acid and uranium oxide makes this uranium stuff. Yeah, so we've got hydrofluoric acid. This part is actually done. That's done. Now we need to do like a different a different uh, machine. So this different machine is obviously going to be a chemical oxidizer. Um, hydrofluoric acid. That's what we just got. So we've got that. Chemical oxidizer and the yellow cake uranium makes uranium oxide. Okay. So we need to search chemical we need to get some chemical oxidizers. So these guys here. So I'll order, I'll order two. We'll, we'll stick with the little two setup that we've got at the moment and then, you know, upgrade them as we need to. What the two does is by, by setting up two instead of one, you are sure that you can expand it. You know what I mean? Like this is clearly expandable upwards um, instead of like, you know, realizing too late they've used too many sides or something. So two chemical oxidizers. I'm going to place them here like so. One on top of the other. <laughs> we, we won't always do one on top of the other, but... For while we can, we will. Does that make sense? Um, so the next thing we're going to do is grab a chest. The chest will obviously be for item inputs. Um, so I'll do it like here. We'll get um, some items. We'll go boom, boom. And then we'll get gases. And gases will come out of the front like they, oh, like they have for all the other stuff. Um, let's place that back down manually. All right. So this guy is going to extract, obviously, and a pipe upgrade. He's going to have yellow cake uranium in him. So, actually, I don't want that to be there. I actually want it to be one of these. Um, we'll come over here. We might have to bring out the um, the blocks and build this out. You know what? Let's just take care of some... Ah, you know what? I've just realized the whole point of this <laughs> was to make it, like, um, you know, compact as well, like, within a chunk. If I start doing this, um, it'll go out of the chunk. So, what I actually need to be doing is, like, um, bring it out this way. Uh, and bring it out this way, I guess. All right, so I've obviously brought out some cables, um, nice and simple like that. Um, I'm going to place this one here, I guess. And we actually are going to have to replace some of these cables with uh, exporters, which I should have just kept on me since we're constantly using them. 
Um, so this guy will be obviously be an exporter. He's going to get blocks of yellow cake uranium. So these guys here. Items, beautiful. I once again might have to chuck in a crafting upgrade. Let me grab those on me. Why not? Chuck in crafting. Oh, not that many. And I've realized for these ones as well, even like for the sulfur, I should add it just in case we need to. You know what I mean? I think that's the smart thing to do. So this now has yellow cake. It also has a bunch of, um, oh God, a bunch of crafting upgrades, which apparently we have now. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. You'll love to see it. I'm going to entangle it. We're going to fly over here and I'm going to, oh, let me get rid of those borders for you. And we're going to entangle this guy. Make sure he's obviously extracting and chuck in our speed upgrade. Okay. So now this guy has yellow cake uranium. He's going to need power, of course. So let's go ahead and get um, ender gates. One, two. Slap them on the back. Nice and simple. These guys are now powered. Uh, let's double check the upgrades. It can't take a gas upgrade, but it can take uh, speed upgrades. So we'll do that. All right. The next thing that we need to do is make sure that we set the front to be output. And that way the, uh, the gases, oh, for the gases, make sure you click on the gases tab uh, for both of these. So go here, gases, then output. So there we go. They're outputting at the front. Beautiful. By the way, in the future, you can use um, these configuration cards. So for example, let's say I um, go in here and I clear all these sides, right? So now they're not connected. What I can do is shift right click on this guy down here. And then I think I can right click on this guy and look, it reconfigures it so it all works. Um, so we're obviously going to export out the front of these. And once again, so far, we have done all of that. So we're now up to the chemical infuser, which is going to combine both of these to make uranium hexafluoride. So what do we need? A chemical infuser. Let's search chemical, uh, chemical infuser. Let's get two of them because once again, every step of the way, we want it to be expandable. Um, I wish I had like an uneven, like an odd amount here so that I could place it right in the middle, but we're going to have to, you know, place it off to the side. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that should be fine. Um, so, where are we? Chemical infuser. Both of those are done. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I like what I see. Chemical infuser. Okay, so, these guys I might place... I guess I could place them over here. There's no... Oh, 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 oh. I guess I could place them here. <laughs> no harm doing that. Okay. They look beautiful. Obviously, I need these to go into either side. So, what I could do is we could put them into a tank. Yeah, I could search chemical tank. I could grab some ultimate tanks. I could grab one and two. I could place them, I guess, here and here. And these should both be filling up. Oh. Yep, uranium oxide going into there. This guy, believe it or not, isn't getting it. Hydrofluoric acid. Is is this not a gas? Is that the trick here? I think it's not a gas. I think it's a fluid. That That's probably my guess. So what I could do instead... Can I get a tank? Does mechanism ha do mechanism have tanks? At mechanism tank. Um, they do, they do. Okay, yeah. And we actually have some auto-crafted. Um, let me grab an ultimate fluid tank. Might as well. Order one. See how long it takes. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't take too long. But anyway, the thought process is, right? Obviously it's still on its way. Is I can now entangle this guy. Run over here. Um, place this guy down there. Entangle him again. Go ahead and grab some gas pipes. And I can now run this up here and make sure this guy's extracting and voila, uranium oxide. It's that simple. Um, I obviously want to do the same over here with um, the liquids, which I guess are liquids. I, I didn't realize they were liquids, but they must be. I'm hoping. So I'm going to break this and this. Um, we'll place down our tank. I'm going to go that and that. Make sure you open this guy up. Side config. Um, is it a slurry? I, I think it might be a slurry. That's not going to connect, is it? No. Hydrofluoric acid. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. What do we do over here? So what are these? These are chemical dissolution chambers. What do we have over here? Because I swear that... Yeah, we have it out outputting gases. We have all of these outputting gas. It should be a gas, but it, I guess it's just not allowed to go in a tank. What's that all about? What's... Now I'm, now I'm annoyed. Now I'm annoyed. What's going on? You're meant to be a gas. You connected to the tank, but you just didn't put anything in the tank. Why wouldn't you put anything in the tank? You have one job. <laughs> Gases. Oh, okay. They can connect, but they can't output. I need to set it to be output. And now it works. How odd. How did I mess that up? All right. Well, there we go. Now, now it's now it's connected. So now I can entangle this guy. We can come over here, slap this back here, entangle it, gas pipe, gas pipe, and do that.
And there we go. Now we are making uranium hexafluoride. We're going to need two ender um, gates. We're getting there, though. We're getting there. It's, so far, things are going surprisingly well, okay? Surprisingly well, surprisingly compact. Things are looking good. Um, for the sake of things looking the same, let's get rid of those. Okay. So out of these is obviously... Well, I think it's just... It's the fuel, right? It's the... Yeah. It's the uranium hexafluoride, which when put in an isotopic centrifuge gives us fissile fuel. So we're, we've done it. <laughs> we've actually, oh, hold on, hold on. Have we actually done it? Chemical. Let me um grab another ultimate... Does that guy have one in it? Let's grab this. Um, Let's slap this guy down. We might have to tell this guy to actually extract from the front. So gases, output... Okay, he's already set there, so let's just do this. So now is this guy good? Yep, he's filling up with high uranium hexafluoride. <laughs> okay. Then what we can do is we can get our... Um, where are they? Um, ISO these guys. I'm going to get two of them. We're going to order two. This is... I'm... I'll be, I'll be honest. For some reason, this feels a lot easier than it was when I did it over there. Like a lot easier. I'm I'm very happy with what what we're seeing so far. Um, all of this within one chunk as well, which is very 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 handy. Um, these guys, how long are they going to take? Are they? Is this like a, a rough recipe? Oh no, they're they're pretty much done right now. Yep, there we go. One two. Okay, where do we put these guys? Um, because these guys are a little bit messier because you have to have access to the bottom of them. So, hmm. I, obviously, I want to be able to stack them, but what we might be able to get away with as well is just placing them next to each other. And then, like, we can do just, like, a, you know, we can do it that way. I think that would work. I don't think it would necessarily be too bad. So, how do we want to do this? Well, for starters, I believe what we can do is spin them around. And this will probably look a little bit nicer. Um, we can go ahead and entangle this guy. Place this guy here. Entangle him, obviously. And have the gas works like work like this. Open that up. And these guys should fill up, assuming we set the front. Oh, the front to be a gas input. So let's do um, input. And did that work? No. Okay, what have I done? Side. What have I? What am I clicking on here as well? I didn't want to... Can I close all those? Okay, side config. Gases. Input from the front. But it's clearly not doing it. Because this is the front. We have it to input. It doesn't want it. Unless this guy's not extract... Okay, hold on. This guy needs to be outputting um, gases on one of the sides. Um, so let's do output, output. There we go. It was the right side. So here we go. It's got uranium hexafluoride. It's that simple. So if I wanted to as well, we could just right click this, right click that. There we go. That's an easy way to do it. So this guy will obviously need ender gates as well. So let's go ahead and grab two of those. Ender gate. Can I place them on the side? I can't. Can I place them on the top? I also can't. Really? That's a problem. I can place them on the front, I believe, like that. So that's that works for expandability. Um, to output, I believe we have to like have to get it from the from underneath. So let's go ahead and uh, you know make a bit of a mess here. Let's um, also grab our blocks, fill in the gap. Okay. So the fluids will obviously, or the gas will come out from here. We can then have it go um, right there, and then into believe it or not, this guy. First things first, is this it's working right? We're getting stuff. We are. Um, I'll obviously need more speed upgrades and stuff like that. Um, speed upgrades. Let's just order a stack. That'll come in the mail. Um, what upgrades can this take? Pretty much only speed. Um, and was it this guy as well? What can he take? Pretty much only speed. Okay. So um, the ones that can take gas upgrades, we'll put gas upgrades in. Um, and the rest is speed. You can put energy in as well. But once again, we have infinite energy. So it's not really... I don't think it matters. I'm going to be honest. I don't think it matters. But um, yeah. So speed upgrades. Chuck them in there. Chuck them in there. Come over here. Make sure these... Did these get speed upgrades? They did now. Did these? They did. Okay. Everything is sped up. Everything has the speed upgrades. This is what we're looking at. Okay. Um, Where do we go from here? Well, what I can do is make another one of these. So, um, ender tank. Let's get the recipe for it. Slap it down here. Get rid of that and replace it with some green wool. So here we go, green wool, there we go. And we have an ender tank. I'll obviously need to grab a diamond. Grab this guy. <laughs> uh, come over here, place him, lock him with the diamond with a shift right click. And slap him there. Now, another thing I'll have to do, and, and now here's an interesting thing. What I've noticed with my other setup is, whilst these don't disconnect, they do stop working. 
So we'll have to keep an eye on that to see if they stop working. What we could do is possibly... I don't know if they'd want to, but they might be able to be placed into chemical tanks and then exported that way. And that might be an alternative if we see in the future that these stop working. But for now, this should work. Can we do a double check? Okay, so we actually were draining fissile fuel. That is really good to know. Because now we'll be able to see if we can actually work on... Oh, what were you doing? I saw your water go down. I think it was a visual bug. I mean, I hope that was a visual bug. <laughs> we cannot afford a big boom at all. Oh, but then some of these have like plenty of fuel. These are all full. Then these are full. And then these are just like empty. They are completely empty. So I guess if we manage to fill those up, we're, we know we're doing good. Um, even some of these could, you know, they could do with a bit more. Um, so, 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 so. Over here, what are we looking at? It's actually... Do I need to put speed upgrades in? Or are these guys not extracting? Do I need to specifically say, do I need to be like, hey, buddy, you need to be, you need to be outputting at the bottom. I do. I definitely do. So let's go here. Output at the bottom. And there we go. Do, is there any noticeable difference? Eh, eh, eh. Not really that I can see. I mean, it looks like it's a little bit more stable, but it still doesn't have more than it needs. So here's, here's where the expanding part comes. At the moment, both of these guys are full and filling, as you can see. So that means we can actually build more of them quite easily. So I'm, I'm going to do that. We're going to chuck down some uh, up some pipes down here. We're going we're gonna to lay lay the land out like that. I'm going to order some more. Um, I so da, da, da. let's go. I'm going to go for four more. So we're going to have six total. Previously, for our last setup, what we had was um, two. Two was powering this whole thing. I'm going to set it up so that we have six. And then that, that gives us a lot of room to expand. Um, this is all, by the way, for antimatter, which, by the way, we, honestly, we have, we have a pretty decent amount. So it's a bit of a bit of an overkill at this point. But I, I still, I've always wanted to set this thing up nicely. And I think this is the way to do it. I think so far, this has been an extremely, like, tidy experience. Um, okay, so I want to place them this way. Have that connect. We'll grab out our configuration card. And then we can just right-click on these guys and they'll start running. Um, so I'll grab out more of those. Um, a lot of our inventory probably does need to be cleaned up a little bit, to be honest with you. Um, another thing I need to do is grab... What am I grabbing? Ender gates. Da -da 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 -da. I really wish these stacked. That would make my job a lot easier, but it's fine. Um, you're going to go there. You're going to go there. You're going to go there. And did I not get another one? No, I guess I guess what? That's six? Yeah, that is. Okay, beautiful. Um, so I'm going to now right-click on this. Right-click on you. Right-click on you. Right click on you, come around here, in go all the speed upgrades. Oh, sorry, the um, uh, energy, obviously. Then da, 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 speed, grab you. Honestly, we need more, a lot more to be completely honest with you. All right, speed goes in, speed goes in, speed goes in, and speed goes in. What does this mean? This now means that we should be draining it. And as you can see, this number is going down. It's going down. There, there's nothing else about it. Um, oh yeah, I also need to make sure that these guys are all extracting. So there we go. I mean, that's pretty good. What do we need to do then? So, so what, what is now the issue? The issue is this stuff. And honestly, look, we have enough inputs. It's just that it can't create it fast enough. So we need to make more chemical infusers. Um, chemical infuser. Let's go ahead and make... I guess we'll make six of each. <laughs> I, I guess that'll probably take care of things. Um, so I'll order those. Um, our, have our speed upgrades came through? Okay, yeah, that, that, they have. We've got plenty now. Um, and I'll also get, grab some gas upgrades because I know we're going to need more of those. All right, so here we go. Chemical infusers. Um, we're just going to place them on top of one another like what we did before. And once again, we're going to grab our configuration card. Shift right click on the bottom one to get its uh, code. Then right click on all of these once without crouching. And that should configure all of their inputs and outputs. Then we can just go ahead and hook those up there. Hook those up there. Hook these up here. <laughs> Make sure that they're obviously extracting and then chuck out ender gates on the back and Looks like we might need some more as well, man. We are we are burning through our ender gates. I'll tell you that much I'm surprised that they're able to still provide power to be honest because we're using a bunch of them um, So there we go. We are also going to need to chuck in speed upgrades to make sure that these guys actually do something So there we go. That's all of them. Uh, I'll double check real quick. They don't take gas upgrades. No, they do not. Okay Is this good? So far, I'll be honest, so far it is. Oh, power. 
Hmm. Potential issue. Potential. <laughs> possibly an issue. Possibly an issue. Very much possibly an issue. I mean, these guys are still running, which makes me think that like, oh, we're actually, we are running low on sulfur, believe it or not. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, <laughs> have they got power again? No. Do the bottom, the bottom ones have power. These guys don't. These guys do not have power. <laughs> okay. Um, interesting. 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 Um, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I have an idea. I'm going to go back to where our ender cell is, which is on top of our house. See what this guy's doing. Um, ender cell. He's, he, he's not doing too bad. He, he definitely, he could be doing better. Um, what we can do though, is if I search, um, energy cell, and I get a really good cell. So for example, if I get a nitro cell, I'll just order one. Um, oh, I don't have clay. Okay, let's <laughs> let's get some clay. You know what? I never added the recipe for clay. Let me add the recipe for clay. You know what? I'm gonna add the recipe for clay, and then I might actually turn off our um our our you know this guy. So that's gonna be what the um the destructors. We're gonna say um only work with redstone. Only work with redstone. Only work with redstone. Only work with redstone. And finally, only work with redstone. Um, because that way, I, I mean, have a look at our construction pace. We, we've probably got enough. We've probably got a, a pretty decent amount. We probably don't need to worry too much. Um, now we have clay, which means now I can get um, that nitro uh, energy cell that I wanted. Ah, okay, okay. Have, have, have a look at this. So I haven't even put in the extra energy cell yet, but now it's filling up. What I realized was this guy's doing 400,000 per tick. This guy's doing 400,000 per tick. The limit of the ender cell is 400,000 per tick. So it's not a matter of the storage. It's about the input. So we need to just have like more um, flux points on the sides to put in 400,000 per tick to keep this guy full. That's that's the issue. That's the only issue. Um, so I think we're good. Assuming I didn't just crash then. Okay, then, then we're good. Nice. <laughs> I should now be able to go back into this dimension. Uh, right back over here. And these should... Yeah, they're now all fully powered. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, all of these guys are still just packed to the brim. Completely. Did I... I put speed upgrades in, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, well, honestly, it doesn't matter if these guys eventually run out because, like, I, I have to wait until they run it. We don't need to expand anything else. These guys, they're good. They're, they're perfectly good. The one issue I did see was the sulfur. This guy's struggling a bit. Um... Which is a bit weird. I'm a little bit curious though. If I do this, chemical dissolution chamber or sulfur item to gas, can I do, can I not do like a block of sulfur? That's not a thing. Like a block of sulfur dust. I would love to be able to do that. Block of sulfur, but there's not, it's not sulfur dust. And I don't think it goes in. Like if I click that in, no, it's not going in. Mm. Cause that obviously would have been way better. Okay. But um, yeah. So if anything, I imagine the issue is the crafting of the sulfur, right? This guy's the sulfur, yeah. Um, how could we make that any better? Look, let's see, because we might be able to put it in a pulverizer. You know what I mean? Like that might be the way to go. Let's run over here. At the moment, sulfur is being made up here. The pulverizer isn't even being touched, even though like we still the fluorite needs to be made there. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch it over. I'm going to see if that makes a, a noticeable difference. This will be a good test because we're like running on the, um, the, the, sl the sulfur is not even in here. Huh? Huh? Where's, hmm. How is sulfur? What? Sulfur isn't even, this is our enrichment fact. No, it's crushing, 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 um, crushing, I believe was bound to a chest. So it might be this one. Sulfur. Okay, hold on. Sulfur dust can be made in a crusher. It can be made in a pulverizer. Okay, beautiful. We're going to take it out of there. We're going to chuck it in the pulverizer. So keep in mind, by the way, before I do this, or I guess as I do this, we have six crushers hooked up to do the sulfur. Six. Okay. I don't think this is faster than six. I'll be honest. I don't think it's faster than six. Um, if we made a few of them, it would be. Most definitely. What I want to do though is see exactly because maybe it is, maybe it is. 
I want to see how much sulfur do we have? Like, is there a backlog yet? Oh, we actually see one now. Previously, we didn't see a single one in there. Oh, <laughs> but now we don't see one. Okay, hold on. Let's get, let's go have a, let's go have a look. Let's go have a look. What are we at? There's one. And here there's none. Okay, so yeah, it is. <laughs> it was faster to have all those. Okay. that You know what? That's, it's good to know. I still don't agree with it. I'll be honest with you. I don't agree with it. Um, I still feel like multiple pulverizers might be better. Oh, hold on. What's the issue? You know what the issue could be? I mean, the issue is obviously that we're sharing sulfur and fluorite. That's obviously a bit of a problem. I'll switch them back here. Let me double check. These guys all have upgrades, speed upgrades. I'm pretty sure they all do, but I obviously want to just double check. All right. Well, anyway, let's let's go ahead and put that back. Um, it obviously it was worth a try for this specific situation. The pulverizer was not faster. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's good to know. We we could definitely do multiple though. That's what I'm thinking though. I, I'm I'm honestly thinking like if we set up if we replaced what the crushes are, but with pulverizers with the creative upgrades. My oh my. The speed would be phenomenal. In fact, I'm going to be honest, I'm very tempted. Let me search Pulverizer. Um, pulverizer, Pulverizer. We have a few here. Let me grab one. Let me slide this guy down. Um, how would I want to configure this? I would want it to be, um, say, input the top, output the back. And that should be pretty good. Um, I'm going to search also for creative. I should be able to order two of these. And that should be not too bad to make. I'm going to grab that other pulverizer as well. This bad boy right here. Slap him down. Configure him to do the same thing. So input top and um, input top, output bottom. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do that. We'll do that same thing. Um, so I obviously want to chuck in my creative upgrades. So we'll grab both of those. Um, oh, open these up. I would like to take out one of you. Chuck in one of you. Beautiful. Take out one of you. Chuck in one of you. So these guys should now be creative tier. Wonderful. I think I'm just going to replace like two of these with a polarizer. So I'm going to break you and you. I'm going to place you and you. Nope. You are not the right one. Oh, you are also not the right one. Where'd my polarizer go? Polarizer. And place you there. And then that should work. Now, I don't know where the stuff just went. It's possible they just got like absorbed somewhere. Do we have an item collector? I don't know. Did that just create an issue though? Do we have like... Sulfur expecting. Yeah, we've got like four sulfur that's like, hey, where you at? I'm going to cancel that and let it order new sulfur. So now, as you can see, these guys finish incredibly faster. Hmm. You know what the other issue is? Like, there's times where these guys aren't running. We need constant sulfur to be ordered. That's a, you know what? That is a big problem as well. Hold on, hold on. Um, because when there's downtime, obviously downtime's bad. So I want to look through here. We don't have any ordered at the moment, do we? No. But did you see what we did have? We had fluorite ordered. So I'm going to add sulfur dust here. We're almost done, honestly, um, for this episode. So I'm going to chuck that in there. It will now try to keep, you know, a thousand stocked, which should, you know, work pretty well. It should mean that we should hopefully, or at least what I thought, would have a backlog here. You know what I might need to do? It's possible... What do we have here? Do we have a netherite? We do actually have a netherite. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, I don't really know then. I don't really know. I mean, I could manually order some and then maybe it would keep on top. Like, for example, if I go in here and I search sulfur and I say, um, make me, you know, a million and click start, have a look at what will happen. This guy will fill up everything. Or at least he'll try to. I think he'll struggle to fill up the... Oh, I guess they are full, but... Yeah. Okay. That should, um, that should take care of business. <laughs> that should take care of the sulfur problem. Let, let's, well, well, you know, before we say that, let's go and double check. Hold on. Let's go in here. Da, 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 da. Fly over here. Um, how are we looking in sulfur? Completely full. Not even an issue. These guys are all running. They're all completely full as well. Let's see if we have enough fuel for all these. They do appear to be filling up ever so slowly. But it is filling up. Okay. They are filling up. They're not emptying. I just want to see. Yep. Up to seven and then up to eight. Let's see if it gets up to a nine. Yeah, we got it up to a nine. Okay. They're all filling up. Beautiful. We've done it. These guys will fill up. Next time we're on, if we want, we can just slap down some more. We can just keep going. I'm I'm happy with how this is though. 
once again, easily expandable. Incredibly easily expandable. Um, so yeah, there we go. This mess over here, I'm going to be honest. Oh, see, here's the thing. They're almost filling up, but this is still running. You know what I mean? Like, they're still getting power from there. I do want to get rid of that. One, one thing I will get rid of, though, is this guy. This guy is just like a lag machine. He's not doing anything. He's just ticking. He's useless. Let's just clean him up. Clean up time. Clean up time. There we go. Um, as for whether I'll break the other stuff, I won't yet. Just just not yet. Um, we probably could. Uh, not yet. Not yet. We don't need to. Um, as for our dragon, I still don't really know what we're doing with him. Well, I'll figure something out. Um, but yeah, I, I think that's it. I think I'm pretty happy. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, please do consider subscribing to my channel. It helps me out quite a bit. Um, let me double check. I am recording. Okay. <laughs> Phew. Um, if you like the video, consider liking the video. Um, thank you to everyone who has supported me financially. Um, whether you're watching ads on the videos, donating to me through links, uh, donating to me through links is what I tried to say, but mumbled it. Um, or becoming a channel member. Thank you guys so much. Um, hopefully, hopefully you're enjoying your time at, at the very least. And yeah, more specifically, I guess we've got some names here. Thank you to Galzio2, Caden, Oracle, Skeletal Jacob, Oathus, Derpy Snow Luna, Mugs, V Rifty, and Takulis, who have all supported me um, through donations um, and, and channel memberships and whatnot. And then thank you to uh, V Rifty, Mugs, and Caden again, who are not only um, donators, but also channel members. So thank you guys so much. And if I missed your name, please do let me know and, and I'll double check that I got everything. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.